Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. I'm using that time to attempt to visit every civil parish in England. You're watching the Newark and Sherwood series, a district of 84 civil parishes right in the centre of Nottinghamshire. Come with me as we delve into one of them. Welcome back to Newark and Sherwood, everybody. Now for this episode, this one won't take me very long. This is very easy. It's a linear village, which is a dead end as well. So basically, I just need to walk as far as I can up there before the road stops. We're starting outside a church. That's our start point. And like I said, we'll just end when the road ends, basically. Welcome to Hallison. This Newark and Sherwood video is sponsored by Past Days, a family history blog by June Terrington. You'll find a link in the description. Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. Hallerton is a small parish with a population of less than 100, just to the south of Southall, where its population is recorded. The parish covers some 988 acres. It sits on a stream and lies just to the north of Hallerton Dumble, a wooded valley some three miles from the River Trent at Bleasby. Hallerton is not mentioned in the Doomsday Book except as one of the 12 outliers of Southall, but the village first appeared in historical records in 956 AD. That was when King Edwig gave the estate of Southall to Ossitel, who was the then Archbishop of York. At that time, the village was known as Heeltune. Located as it is on a dead-end road off a main road, Hallerton doesn't see much traffic. In fact, barring one singular vehicle, I saw no traffic at all in this episode. It's got a good selection of new and old houses, and its jewel in the crown is undoubtedly Hallerton Tower, which is directly opposite the small church of St James. Most of the farms and properties in the parish were owned by the church commissioners until 1952, when they were put up for sale to their sitting tenants. Oh, and let's not forget Brackenhurst Hall, even if that's technically in Southall. Let's go. We begin this very short episode at the Church of St James. This is the first thing you see as you enter Hallerton from the main road. It's surrounded by a small churchyard and the church was built in the 13th century. This and the village as a whole have no war memorial. However, Hallerton is not a thankful village. Private William Henry Brett Wales, a member of the 7th Battalion of the Royal Fusiliers, a native of Hallerton, died in conflict in 1918. The church features some remains of an ancient religious house, reputedly a part of Thurgerton Priory. The modern building is not the original 13th century church either, as it was rebuilt in 1879. It can seat 70 people. It has a few interesting features, including this 19th century circular font. There's an oak lectern, which was a present from the parish of Bleasby in 1879. And the churchyard's oak gate dates from 1980, erected to the memory of a local lady. Check this out. The church here has got one single bell. And here is the bell rope. Now, I've never fancied myself as a bell ringer, but it's only one bell. So let's see if I can make it chime. Boy, did good. 
The tall building on the left here is Hallerton Tower, a surviving segment from a larger manorial complex. The tower was raised in the mid 14th century by a canon of Southern Minster. However, the purpose of the tower is unclear. More on that in a second, but right next door we have the parish notice board, so we can knock Hallerton off the list now. Back to the tower. It stands these days as part of the Grade 2 listed Hallerton Manor House. A lot of the properties at this end of the village make reference to the manor house, like this one for example, Manor House Farm. Although little is known of the tower, it's known it was never intended to stand alone and would have been paired with an attached hall. It's thought to be a defensive structure built to withstand attacks from the bands of thieves and outlaws that operated from nearby Sherwood Forest. It could just have been a status symbol though, because there's no evidence of any other defences. It's definitely one of those places that's got a mixture of housing styles. I mean, for example, take that one and it's right opposite this one. This next section was delightful. It's just a run of peaceful cottages and farms. Basically, what we're doing here is just walking to the west towards Hallerton Wood, which was a noted fox covert and popular place for the fox chase. I don't condone fox hunting though, so I will just make that perfectly clear. If you were to follow the road all the way to the end, you would eventually come to a track called Cotmore Lane, which connects Hallerton to the B6386. Mind you, it's not suitable for vehicles and is definitely a walking route only. Hallerton Wood Farm is also at the end of the road, a large dairy farm which supplies Long Clawson Dairy for making cheese. On the subject of cheese though, Hallerton is famed for making its own. Believe it or not, Stilton cheese, which is usually associated with Cambridgeshire, was made here in the 18th and 19th centuries. The more you know, eh? Okay, uh, so my phone battery has just died, so I can't tell whereabouts I am on the road, but I don't think it goes much further than this. Um, there's a couple more houses. The road sort of bends to the right, but uh, I think that's pretty much it at this point here at this bridge. Can't say as we're missing a lot up there. So here we'll turn round, we'll head back to the beginning. And uh, obviously there's going to be no picture bit for this one because it's way too small. It's not even going to get a rest off section. But I am going to tag something onto the end of this, which is just outside Hallerton's boundaries and into Southall, just to pad the video out a bit. So let's walk back to the car and uh, go and find the landmark in question. Okay, so just as I was walking back, I noticed this on the side of the barn up there. It's where the parish notice board is and the post box, which by the way is a Victorian post box. It's got VR on it. It's uh, a very rare one. So up there, as, as best as I can read it, it says Hallerton's daily grant will be apprehended by order of the, the, the justices of the peace, J Nicholson, chief something. I can't tell what the, the last word is. Maybe uh, you guys out there can sort of help me out and fill me on what that last word is. Interesting anyway. So to finish we've come over the parish boundary and into Southall very slightly because I wanted to catch the Brackenhurst campus of Nottingham Trent University. This is sited around the impressive Brackenhurst Hall. The hall, located just north of the village, formed the core of the Nottinghamshire Agricultural Institute, which would eventually become the Brackenhurst campus. The School of Animal, Rural and Environmental Sciences is based here. The hall itself can sort of be seen from these gates. Listed Grade 2, the hall's frontage and gardens were part of an early 20th century development. The original building dates from 1828, constructed for the Reverend Thomas Coates Kane. It was owned some time later by Sir William Norton Hicking, who with his father founded G and W N Hicking, lace bleachers and finishers of Nottingham. During World War I it was used as a war hospital and since 1999 has been an integral part of the university. Yeah, so I thought it was best to catch that in this episode because the Southall episode will be quite big. The town is quite large with loads of other things to talk about. So not having to come down here to film that to put in the Southall episode made a lot more sense. Uh, and that's it. That's the parish of Hallerton, a very small one. And I do hope you've enjoyed it. Time for me to move on to my next one here in Newark and Sherwood. I've been Andy. 
also known as the Village Idiot. This has been the Parish of Hallerton, and I'm out.